Yay! Now we have audio. Yay! Wow. Yay! <laughs> also, um, something. I can, I can, I can hear us. <laughs> I can hear us through somebody else's thing. That's good. All right. Yes. Uh, apparently, also, by the way, not shared with everybody, but I'm leading with it today. Not has nothing to do with the show. Um, I found on Reddit a map that showed all of the top soft drinks by country in the UK. Punisher, as always, thank you for hosting. Uh, I would like to say, number one, guess what was in number one in England? Iron Brew? Yes. And I would like to single-handedly take have Tick Whippies take credit for that. And our underground, viral, super indie marketing campaign for them. <laughs> <laughs> it is so Indian viral that they don't even know that we're marketing for them. That's how hardcore this is. Exactly. We're, we're doing their work for them. We're exactly. not getting anything back from it. And that, that, that's how good we are to them. That is how great our marketing is, people. We are so underground and viral that they don't even know that we're marketing for them. So Iron Brew, the official, not really official, but official <laughs> drink of the game won't play itself. Uh, hashtag sponsors not sponsored. Hashtag sponsors not sponsored. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it it was the UK, so it was like it was just all of it. I, I'm pretty sure it is in Scotland too, when you know you're not drinking anything of any alcohol content. <laughs> it's not like tenants. <laughs> How? So everybody, uh, if you're if you're playing the the Tig Whippy uh, drinking game, that was uh, two minutes into the actual show before James made an insult to somebody's country. Two minutes. So, uh, if you if you had that, uh, congratulations, you won that Domino's pizza code that we were handing out last week. Hey! Well done to you. Well done to you. High five to you. <laughs> there you go. The high fives are going crazy. As we say, welcome everyone to Season 2, Episode 5 of The Game Won't Play Itself. I am Lot Team Maker, aka Will McKellar. Joining me, as always, it's James Atkinson. Hi, everybody. It's been a and busy week. It has been. It has been a crazy busy week. And even up there, I, I, I just see him up there. It's Chris Hagelman. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How is everyone doing? How how's the week been? I know it's been busy, but it has been good. Yeah. It's been pretty good. I've got a lot of stuff done. Did a few things. That that don't want to move that. Don't nope. Wrong thing. Sorry. I'm I'm fixing the stream as we talk. Just 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 to annoy all of our people who have like, you know, like things symmetrical and stuff. And I'm just messing with their heads right now. <laughs> yeah, they have no CD about it. Oh well. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> if you want to see pretty pictures, go to the MoMA or the Louvre. Yeah. This. We're not a pretty picture. Well, this isn't a pretty picture. I can tell you that much. But on tonight's show, I've got two bits of news. We it's Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Nice. He's in. Brilliant. So we've got Mr. Smith as well as uh, what we've been playing. Any shout outs? Where you can find us? Any ranting? All that good stuff. And so, right, I have one positive bit of news, which I'll start off with because I'm going to get fucking angry during this, this this stream i can tell you that right now bbc from tonight have uh, started for six weeks on bbc3 esports tournaments uh, called gfinity series uh where the winner i believe is going, going to take away two hundred and twenty-two thousand pounds they're doing it over the weekends so on friday you get street fire on Saturday, you get uh, Counter Strike, and on Sunday, you get Rocket League. So, are we like talking like the winners of all like the individual tournaments take home that much, or is like one team playing all the games? I think it's one team oh, take, playing all the games, and then it comes aggregate over there to like point scoring, and so, then. So this is like the triathlon of esports. It sounded like it in the blurb I've read for it, uh, but yeah, that's. That's really good because it's it's the first time the BBC have done it on a bigger channel rather than just on the iPlayer, which is just online sort of thing. I mean, yeah, BBC Free is online as well, but it's a bigger channel for the esports to show up. 
I mean, yeah, I mean, ESPN is ESPN3 that they show, like, that kind of stuff on. So so why not? If ESPN, like, puts it online, why shouldn't the baby say? Exactly. Even with the people going, well, I don't want this on my TV. I'm not having a license fee anymore. So, well, well bugger off then, you know. <laughs> if, you're gonna, if it's not for you, don't watch it. Give it a chance because... If you, you know, you've got your bargain hunts on in the daytime when you're sitting around in bugger all, you can watch that. We're not saying take that away. We're just adding to it because esports, whether we like it, whether we follow it or not, is growing and growing big. And why not have WC on there? Why not have gaming on a mainstream platform? Hey, remember your 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 parents I'm not talking about you, but if you're complaining about them damn esports on the television, remember your parents thought they said about having the damn rock and roll on the television, and look what happened with that, huh? And now, now you've got women in slips of clothing. You, women wearing less clo- less clothing than you start with wearing in Dark Souls. <laughs> women le- wearing less TV. clothing than you you start in, in Battlegrounds for God's sake. <laughs> Then uh yeah, and dare dare I say you know on on TV and music videos and stuff. So there there you go. That's the thing. It's gonna it's it's happening. I mean, Twitch is huge. I mean, Twitch is showing. By the way, Twitch is showing anime this week. I'm actually really excited about that because uh, they're showing decent shows. I know. Like it's it, not like the same old thing that everyone under the sun always shows on their massive platforms. Hey, uh, let's uh, let's show the kids that Pokemon show. No, no, it's it's actually decent, uh, and uh, you have to read subtitles. And though they're actually subtitles, not like not like the subtitles that that Twitch tries to put on the channel. Though, mind you, those in and of themselves are amazing. Oh so, yeah, abs- uh, absolutely. I'd love to see those on there. Yeah, the ten ten out of ten best feature of Twitch. You know what else they're showing next month? Have you seen this? Something that a couple of you won't be old enough to remember this. And I won't remember it because it was primarily in the States, but they're showing Starcade on Twitch, the old 80s arcade gaming show. I'm, I'm excited for <laughs> that it. Was, that was apparently really, really bad. <laughs> it's even better. Re- remember, they show Bob Ross religiously now. Like, Bob Ross has a cult following on Twitch. Bob Ross, white guy, huge afro, paints pretty pictures. I, I mean, I think it, once again, it's it's the the Twitch is just pandering to the stoner crowd, and um, obviously, like all they should do is just advertise like Dominoes and Funyuns and Mountain Dew, and they should make a killing on that channel, just absolute See, killing. They should have a function on Twitch where you can order food while you're watching it, and then within the affiliates and the subscribe and you know the um the partners get money percentage for that. So like, it's you works, hungry with it? I think it's in the work. I mean, it, it, it's the next logical step. I mean, they already have a service where you can order food for a streamer while he's streaming and have it delivered to their house. That's that's a feature. That's that like it's a third party feature that somebody set up. But like people can instead of donating to the streamer or doing bits or subscribing. Uh, by the way, we we at Tigwhippies have all those features. We'd love it if you guys would just, would do that. But anyways, uh, you can set up and, and mainly I've watched this because I've watched uh, a lot of Warhammer uh, 40k streams lately. Obviously, the new edition dropped, and I've been watching a lot of people, and a lot of people stream that. And they actually have set up while the guys are streaming. If you want to, it, you know, because it's like seven, eight o'clock at night when they're playing, and they're like, you know, they're playing during dinner. They're like, if you guys want to order food for the people who are running the stream or the guys playing the game for you guys on stream, you can. And they've done that. And the, you know, it's just like, I think it's a mix of like Grubhub, like they order through Grubhub and stuff, and it just also keeps them like, you know, doesn't they don't show their address and stuff. But it's pretty cool. That's that's amazing. I like this idea. <laughs> of course, it'll get me fatter than what I currently am. But... I know. I mean, we're already all <laughs> sitting down, like talking. <laughs> so, this is this is the next logical step for us to be you know, completely lazy. <laughs> Treat stream, stream is, is one. one. Thank, thank you, thank you, Mr. Smith. I uh, obviously uh, when it, Mr. Smith fact checking Tig Whippy since episode one. <laughs> 
<laughs> you do us a great service, Mr. So, Smith. Somebody, somebody has to do it because God knows I don't fact check half the shit that comes out of my mouth. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that, that could probably move us on to our next second piece of news before I go there. Yep, yep. And I will get back to the comment that Punisher made in a bit because the second piece of news affects people in Europe, uh, Australia, New Zealand, and UK. PS Plus is increasing in its prices from August 31st. Uh, if you want a month, you have to pay six ninety nine rather than five. Mm-hmm. If you want three months, it goes up from fourteen ninety nine to nineteen ninety nine. And if you want a year, it goes up from four uh, thirty nine ninety nine to forty nine ninety nine, which is dearer than Xbox Live and a lot dearer than a PC gaming when you game online. Because you we know, as we know on PC online gaming. You don't have to pay for it unless it's an MMO and they charge you monthly. So it's like... <sighs> Sony? No. No, no, no. Don't overcharge your service, which is, can be bad enough. Assholes. See, when you take the queen off your money, you don't have to worry about this shit. <laughs> I mean, you've got a bunch of other shit to worry about. Uh, like a... Uh, like a uh orange tangerine running the country but yeah that's that's another thing entirely yeah it's i, I don't know what's worse you know it's, I, I really don't know what's worse currently you know the the, the crazy <laughs> there's tangerine. one thing we don't have to worry about and that's scurvy <laughs> truth <laughs> truth <laughs> absolutely he gets his fanta every morning <laughs> or uh or uh french privateers when we, when we try to go over the when we try to visit each other's countries we don't have to worry about them either yeah, yeah. this is true <laughs> we, we we went there <laughs> fucking 18 1800s jokes just bringing the knowledge bombs on this episode uh this is the tig Whippy's history class where we will be talking about the the hundred years war as, as seen through the eyes of three people who play video games and maybe past history class who probably didn't go through that hundred years. Keyword on maybe. Yeah. Hundred years yeah. war that lasted a hundred and eight years. Because people are fucking great at naming shit. <laughs> and maths was good round then. Well yeah, truth. <laughs> <laughs> math was good round now too. We do math and speak English good. You can speak English good because you didn't lose the Hundred Years War. Yes. We have the Queen's English, and if we don't, we don't speak it properly. She throws us in a dungeon. Maybe. <laughs> Hashtag maybe not one hundred percent correct. Yeah. Hashtag fact check. <laughs> <laughs> we have Mrs. Smith looking, putting his head up from the book going, and now he hears the sound going. <laughs> We're waiting for like the electrical shock. Just <laughs> okay, that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That oh, that's another idea for a twist. No, no, <laughs> okay, it so isn't. <laughs> we're not doing that. Aww, you can do that, that all you want, <laughs> and that's a way to keep you up during the freaking extra life stream. I'm all for putting a dog shot collar on it and figuring out a way to work it into the system to keep you awake. Every ten dollar donation, Lord gets electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> it's 23 hours he's flagging he needs that one hour to go come on give us another donation <laughs> the dollar remember every every single every ten dollars goes up by one volt <laughs> i turn it to z out <laughs> we, we we max out at like 12 so like you don't die but you know he might like seizure a little bit <laughs> I come out all buff because my muscles have got all tense. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so okay. All right, let let let's workshop this right now because there's I'm, there's one thing you guys are forgetting, and that's voltage doesn't matter. It's all about amperage. Truth. Um, I, I I'm looking at it this way. I mean, I think we keep it at a low voltage and amperage, just so then that way we don't kill Will. But I think in ten dollar donation increments, it goes by how long and sustained it is. So obviously, uh, starting at ten dollars, it's one second. 
uh, twenty dollars, it's two seconds. Thirty dollars, it's three seconds. So if somebody wants to de- de- you know donate a hundred dollars, will get shocked at a consistent ten seconds. At low amperage, of course, in, in volume, because we don't. Once again, we're not we're not here for killing people, but but pain and suffering is completely okay with us. Yeah, we just need to make it tingle. So I know I'm I'm up, even though we don't want it too bad. Otherwise, the, the controller's going to shake out my hands. And how can I play during that if I'm getting if my controller's not there? I know. I saw you play like Uncharted Three near the end, man. And the, the controller shaking your hands could probably help the issue. Wouldn't hurt it any worse. <laughs> yeah, couldn't have made it any worse for that bugger. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> Mr. Smith saying tingle with me satire. It may be four hundred years out of date. But God damn it, it's still sad. Yeah, we're, 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 we, 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 like, we like the callbacks on this show. They may be 400-year callbacks, but we like the callbacks. <laughs> Some soldier 400 years in the past. Going, <laughs> but re- remember, that's, what, that's where this came from. There's a hundred years war. Remember that, people. History lesson. Your, uh, your uh, fuck you came because... I'm assuming no, Will knows why. I don't need, like, I, everybody in the chat is pretty much English except for Kim. And I'm pretty sure Kim knows why. It has to do with longbows. It has to do with longbows. <laughs> because every Sunday we had to do archery. What well, when that bloody stopped? I know. I was going to say, what's, what's, the, what's, the, what's wrong with that? I would keep that going. Hmm. I mean, would have kept people in shape. Truth. Would, would also mean would also mean to just like you know who's gonna you know everybody nobody can own guns in England but everybody can have a longbow. Exactly. Okay. Even though I ain't got crossbows, I have how many firearms? And... This is what a police officer said years ago to us. Yeah, I, I looked and we looked and went, no, I think not. Do you have gunpowder to propel it? Propel it? No, so it's not a firearm. So... <laughs> Some crossbows have a pretty decent velo- exit, you know, shooting velocity, though. I imagine, like, now we're getting into the semantics of what is a firearm or not, uh, what, because we tangent. Uh, <laughs> so if, you, if you're doing that, drink again, because tangent. Um, I, I think <laughs> firearms should be measured on muzzle velocity versus like you know anything else because i think if, if you're talking about that kind of thing it's how fast the projectile is going when it leaves could also like equal lethality also because a fucking arrow can do a lot of damage just as much as a bullet if not in some cases more yeah it can it can get lodged in if it doesn't go clean through and make more damage when you pull it out Especially if you're using a triangular shaped uh, uh, arrow or pyramid shape, I should say, because uh, you can't actually close that wound, and that and is why they're the illegal. <laughs> so yeah, so <laughs> looking in the chat, it's like this is color. What the hell have to go now? The electrodes they suggested, motherfuckers. <laughs> I just don't want to kill him. I don't want to cause him that much pain. Remember, it's we're all about con- what Tig Whippy's rule number one. Tick Whoopi's rule number one, anybody? Bueller? Bueller? It is. We will sacrifice any shred of quality to do something remotely stupid. Correct. Uh, that's that's what dog shot collar is. Especially because you can physically see the shot collar on him. I mean, I don't want to have to run two streams where there's like the, the normal stream where Will is actually like on, and then there's like the Pornhub stream where you've got like the picture of the electrodes on his gonads. Uh, I don't think anybody would be in. I, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I know a lot of you who are here, but I don't know you that well. So, yeah. I also just don't want to have to set that up. Geo. Yeah. Thank you for hosting. And dragging me away from the inevitable hole that this is going down. Lucky Lucky Ducky isn't even here right now. If she if she was, she would be. Oh my god. She would be absolutely horrified, as well as I am right now. <laughs> but yeah, so that's news. So on to what we've been playing, Evans. Do you want to go first, James? I can. Uh, I I I played a lot. There there, there things that there was there was. Uh, there's there was Dream Daddy. Uh, I, I believe anybody who wants to watch it can 
on VOD or YouTube. Uh, we have our cast. Uh, there was a one night stand already with one of the daddies. Um, that it happened accident. I thought we were going home for a nightcap and uh, z- butt sex. At least we assumed it faded black to black at the right time, but um, yeah. Uh, besides from that, uh, there was XCOM. XCOM has made a return with the, the you got the expansion coming out next month, so I have started the slog back through XCOM. Uh, by the way, if anybody wants to uh, wants to need, wants to be a soldier on XCOM, I am I am filling the roster because I have murdered somebody. Somebody has died in XCOM. Uh, Mr. Keith Dunn Fernandez has sadly lost his bat, lost the battle against them, the aliens. He was shot, bravely assaulting a facility. Uh, he he will be missed. He was our highest level uh, hacker. Uh, that that job now falls to Hergelman, who is our who's our who's our medic who couldn't get there in time. I'm so sorry. It's all right. You weren't on that mission because you were shot the previous mission and almost died. Uh, yeah, I have almost killed everybody. Uh, so Geo wants to be a soldier. Do you want to be a soldier, Punisher? Geo is a soldier. You are. You're a sniper. Geo is Geo is in the in the game. You're in it. Tig 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 Whippy's crew is already there. If you're if you're a member of the Tig Whippies, you are you are there. You're in the game. Uh, but uh, let's see. Uh, I I almost died about three times. I'm an assault, which means I get up close to personal with shotguns and swords. So it's just it's just inevitability that I I will I'll die or die soon or get shot multiple times. Uh, will is a gunner. I'm making you your gunner slash grenader. Uh, so I, I I've been specking you into using the machine gun versus the grenade launcher. Uh, Chris is specialist. You're a medic slash uh, have the little robot dude that flies around. Um, I I was going to spec you out as a hacker, but then when I realized, oh shit, I'm actually get to, like getting a lot of people hurt. Uh, <laughs> I need a medic. And Chris volunteered. Uh, I I didn't expect me to be in hot pants though. <laughs> that that was the, Wait, what? you're not there anymore because I've gotten the second tier of armor. But yeah, like Will was like running into battle in like a le- black leather jacket and sweat and like hot pants. <laughs> Like even Keith probably would have been like, "Oh my!" <laughs> you just stop for a second and went, "Hang on, wait, what?" Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Keith, I think you know Keith was probably sitting there. He's like, "I'm just going to stand back here and uh, stay on Overwatch." You go ahead, Lord. You push those front lines. He's <laughs> just sway a bit more while you're doing this. What? Is that it's a big a gun. gun you're carrying there, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> it's a it's grenade. Packs a punch. Yeah. yeah. You, they do, it was it's explosive, cool, dare, dare I say. You're raiding napalm all over the place. I'm just going to stop, because I can... <laughs> <laughs> Dream Daddy, Dream Daddy, after the show tonight, be ready, because I'm, uh, I'm puntastic today. I don't know why, but I'm, re- I'm ready. I'm all revved up and ready to pun. <laughs> Pro Santa is <laughs> exactly. XCOM soldier class sniper medic and gimp. <laughs> Actually, I think I can get a. I think there is a gimp mask, so I'll, uh, I'll work on that. By the way, uh, we are we are going to be doing the mission soon. Probably next next time we stream XCOM, which is either going to be Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Uh, we are going to be doing the quest to get our uh, our favorite mech b ross the the bob ross killing machine robot who is just going to paint happy little trees with the blood of our enemies <laughs> and what we're going to do here <laughs> is going to use your innards to put a cloud just above this building here you see this and then as the rest of the ufos come down what we're going to do is we're going to use this <laughs> to just paint the sky red I just one of my favorite moments, and actually of any of playing any of XCOM, and I played a decent amount of it. Was uh, I had I had the B Ross robot, and it aimed, 
and it's shot at an enemy and it says we don't make mistakes shot at that enemy blew him away critical shot him in the head and it was like the shot i need to make is like we make happy accidents and i'm just like oh oh that's ice cold that is that is ice cold bob ross you're you're a maniac It is. It is. It is. He is the. He is the man. Uh, and and in a in a game like XCOM, where like our soldiers, I'm I'm kind of have this kind of spiral where I'm like sitting there going like, oh wait, that's a terror mission. Well, who do I've got? I've got Geo, who's a sniper. I've got Gina, who's a sniper, and I've got ten rookies. Great. Uh, so it's gonna be Geo, Gina, and Operation Meat Shield, because nobody else can do any damage to these guys. So. Just run the rooks ahead of it, and hopefully some of them rank. <laughs> I've had to make some tough decisions in XCOM. Only Keith has died, though. Uh, uh, yeah, but um, if you don't, if you don't mind watching me murder you to save Earth, I, I would be happy to happy to add you to the roster. Because, yeah. uh, God Almighty, uh, it's only gonna get more difficult. We're in like the fourth month, and. Uh, Things are coming hot and heavy, and I need to start rolling a C team. Because <laughs> A and B are like, eh, not too great. Yeah, you, you, you're injuring us quite easily. Oh, that's what I saw. You're just putting your... You're, I, I'm not saying I'm putting you into difficult situations. But, you know, sometimes you guys just got to pull yourselves up by the bootstraps and just, you know, do your job. Do your job. That's the reason why we took the sniper rifle out of Will's hands. You, you watch previous XCOM things, you couldn't hit the broadside of a fucking barn. So, that's why we gave him the machine gun and the grenade launcher. Listen, grenade launcher, point at enemy, just hit in the vicinity, and it will work. That's, that's, that's why that happened. Bullets may have your name on it, but grenades say to whom it may concern. Remember, just close only works in horseshoes and hand grenades. <laughs> And orbital strikes. And orbital strikes. Yeah, bomb nuke it from orbit's the only way to be sure. I aerial bombardment. We just need like a you know commander, especially <laughs> commander just come in. So, so <laughs> yes. Also, uh, we also gained two new followers from that. I believe one of them was is here. I believe uh, Bullet French was a XCOM follow, stream follower. So thank you for joining in this. And then also uh, Beep Poop Pop. I think her name, their name was, was a, uh, was followed me, was, was there from like time one and like has, was there for like almost eight of those nine hours. So I want to thank them for showing up. Uh, they, they also asked to be a soldier and I, I obviously said yes, yes because they were like the only person talking to me for, for three hours as I played XCOM. So congratulations. You, you, you kept me from being depressed and talking to myself. You get a soldier. Good job. That Good almost job. died. Yeah. By the way, Gina. Gina was Gina had the worst one. Uh, Gina, Gina I, I can tell you, was there was a, the last mission we played last week was like the worst. Chris got hurt, had to ex exfiltrate with the, with the VIP. Kim got hurt. Uh, Kim Kimmy's uh, Kimmy Lols, our Instagram person, because uh, she had to run through acid that large shot to kill another person. <laughs> And nearly died and had to exfiltrate. Gina got tagged and dragged over behind cover by an alien. While Demon Star got dazed. I got flanked and shot at. And um, I'm trying to think of it. Geo got knocked unconscious and had to be dragged out for the rest of the mission because he wasn't awake. We got fucked up. <laughs> yeah, no, it was bad. It was, it was like, te it was, it was, it was situation normal, all fucked up, all over that mission. And I, I pulled it out and just like sat there and I was just kind of staring at everything. Like I said, I was gonna do another mission, but no, I'm good. I'm spent. We're done. Thanks for showing up. I nearly killed everybody. We got out. We got the VIP. Like and the entire team is hurt and out for like 24 days. I'm just gonna just fuck. I just deal with this when I pick it up. Yeah, it's like, just take take a step back, get too stressed, just wait for you, wait a day or two, then go back and <laughs> just go right. Okay, let's roll our sleeves up and deal with this. All right, and that's that's pretty much all I've been playing. Uh, cool. But 
And also, uh, I, I've played Editor Simulator where all of your audio episodes are up. So, uh, so Terrace, when when you when you listen to this uh, six weeks from now, uh, ha, I did it. So there. <laughs> It gives me plenty to listen to because I know people will go. We're going right. I'll listen to it at work. It's like, well, we've got some big episodes for you. It's just like, <laughs> like good. Where's the audio? Oh, it's done. Where's the YouTube stuff? Oh, it's all up. Where's Where's Twitch streaming? I streamed for nine for eleven hours this month. Yeah, I'm a. Di- what happened? I did things. I didn't just sit here and just show up on Friday. It's like. Because <laughs> it's all about getting the community in with us as well to enjoy it. And that's why we do it. So now that I've hogged the limelight for long enough, I'll let us uh, transition to somebody else. Um, I'll take the spot next. I'll get my bits out of the way. Uh, and I will begin with the second part that's making me pissed off this week. Now, I didn't go to London. Things happened. I don't know what the circumstances, because I wasn't told, wasn't said, I've spoken about. But, so instead... I decided to stream a game that I had on my hard drive for a little bit after, like, a humble bundle. And it was called Apartment 666. Now, looking at the graphics, looking at the screenshots, it was very PT-based. And so I thought, oh, great, a horror game. Let's just try this. And it is completely and utterly shite. Do not, I repeat, do not get this game. It is bollocks, all right? I think, you know, it, it's a rip-off of PT. It's about two quid on Steam, but that's two quid too much. You are paying for this gobshite, all right? This, this, the game didn't work at times. You had to go out of the door, go up and down the corridor for a door to open. In the, in the bits where you open it, there is like a room with a chair. And the 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 newspaper sound as you're, you're opening it and reading it was this. So cat in a uh, in a brown black bag noises. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> By the way, how they got the audio. Fun fact. Uh, Mr. Smith will have to fact check that one. <laughs> I mean, there was there was just little sound moments that made me go, ooh, right, like a little kid crying, but it was very, very basic jump scares that he added into there. And, yeah, there was moments that, that could have made the game so good because it went out of the corridor of PT element, and there was this bit where you're sitting in a park because the whole premise is there's your brother and sister have been killed in a park by something or someone. And you're just wandering through this corridor as a, as this child, as and and there's a monster there, and that's it for about an hour. It was the complete waste of hard drive space. It was just a complete waste of fucking time, basically. <laughs> so, problem triple six. Fuck off. <laughs> just 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 get gone. All right. Just no. So, it was actually an anorexic raccoon in a plastic bag. Fact check. Hey, at least we fact check, unlike Fox News. Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. I mean, uh, we even claim uh, to be real news, so... <laughs> Can you be fake news if you don't even complain to be real news? Well, they can try, because you know it's Fox News. I'm talking about us. Oh, well. We I mean, have they a, can try. But they're picking on three people, and it's not like the news hasn't done that before. So we have a fact checker on staff. We don't pay him anything, but he's here. <laughs> he showed up. That's like ninety percent of it. I don't even know if they have one. <laughs> Guys, what's up? Sup, sup. So what else is up is uh, tonight. I was playing Killing Floor Two because we're going on a kick to try and get the platinum on it uh, with the help of Abs. And uh, Gio, he was there, you know, so I'm waiting for this troll, we're waiting for this to be a troll answer, come on. But yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm playing, playing that, and there's, there's something, we, 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 we did a, a, a way that needs patching, I'm not going to go 
I'm not going to go through that because we're wanting to wait before the patchy comes out. We're going to try and get this done beforehand. So, you know, it's a bit... It's a bit... Sh- sh- Good question, actually, Loverbox. Mm. That, that, that is... That, we, we were waiting with... I was, I was, I was pulling up the, the sassy retort and uh, yeah. you, you paused it. Okay. Um, uh, we, we can... We, I'm going to interrupt we, Will. We can, we can answer this. Yeah. So we we shall shall we answer this now or shall we wait until after what we've been playing because it's there we can hover it we can let them wait and have it sitting because I'll, I'll I'll quickly go through my other bits it's yeah. not a problem <laughs> so killing floor team fun game cheesing it at the moment but that's all right played Battlefield One for the first time in a while with a couple of people I haven't spoken to in a good six months not too bad but still you know it could be better it could be worse. Uh, played more Rocket League, played Paradigm. Paradigm is still really, really funny. Um, Far Cry Primal. Dirt 4, we've converted Sim- Simo to getting it because he got it for his birthday. By the way, happy birthday, Simo, for last week. Uh, Halo 5, yeah, did that. And Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds, I got my, my, my new solo best, personal best of 11th. And i went through the uh, youtube and i think i've got a setup for it that works with the controller so i can try and get better with the controller about the key mouse and keyboard and that's pretty much what i've been playing mm, chris what have you been playing matey well what i've been playing and am currently playing is dark soul i'm trying to get through this godforsaken piece of garbage and I will finally be able to sell my soul to something else. Is it gonna be? Uh, is it gonna be times? Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be bad? Is it gonna be great? Is it gonna be awful? <laughs> you need it. I figured out that uh, I'm really, really, really bad at setting up these builds, and also, uh, I think I'm going with a strength build on uh, Dark Souls Two. And luckily, I don't have Dark Souls Three, so I don't have to play it. I don't have to go through with it. Even though everyone under the sun says it's the best of the Dark Souls series, I don't want it. Uh, I started going, you know what? You know what? Let me give it a shot again. I had some memories with this. This will be fine. I played it a little bit. I was like, oh, that's right. This wasn't a complete game. I forgot. It's bad. And then I got to Dark Souls 2 and I was like, oh, this is... (sighs) Well, some of the mechanics are a little more polished. Mm Mm-hmm. I gotta say though, uh, they do have more more bonfires floating around, and that's actually that's their saving grace because uh, yeah, the number of times I've been hit by six or seven attacks in one single swing, how it procs multiple times off the same attack, oh, oh, oh. They also decided to bring back the fucking fantastic idea of oh yeah, when you die, your health bar shrinks. Why? Why? Because they like fucking with you. Why? That's a, that was a Demon Souls one. That was. That was a Demon Souls one. Also, they 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 split off your carry weight stat, which is really dumb. So now, as a strength person, I have like six stats I have to focus in. So it's like, uh, kill me now. So uh, yeah, I did pick up Fortnite, and I'm gonna be playing that next, probably, hopefully. I'm playing a little bit of that soon. Just something different, something new, something fresh, something crisp, something uh, something spicy. And that's it. Cool. Uh, and also, Mr. Smith, as a fact check, as a Smith fact check, was saying, Chris, you'll be playing next as a warrior mage in Hello Kitty Island Adventures 2. Kitty Harder. Next week. There you go. <laughs> it's a fact check for you. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, let's have a look. Uh, right. So we have had a question in the chat from I love is it Ro- Roblox 45. He was asking, how long have we streamed? Have we Twitch streamed? Chris, you're going to hate me. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. You're going to fucking hate me. Okay. Just, just look at your stream library. Just look at your Steam library. <laughs> oh, you gifted me Dark Souls. I you gifted Dark Souls free. 
I happen to have that sweet, sweet patron money that I, I and some of the uh, some of the Twitch funds. Uh, so I, I I reached into the Tig Whippy slush funds for everybody's watching enjoyment. Sleep with one eye I, open. I know. <laughs> Watch out for the horse head. It's going to be there. So yeah. So how long have we been streaming for um, overall? And well, eh, I have been streaming since on and off since about 2014. But it was only really, it's only really 2015 that I actually start to get more and more involved in streaming. So it's been about on and off for about three years, but really intensive in the past year and a half, two, two years. Uh, I have been, for me, I I have been kind of streaming since the, the, the beginning of Tig Whippies. Uh... That's kind of the antithesis of where I really kind of bunkered down and started uh, since kind of the the antithesis of the show, in a sense, uh, was from when we had or me, the original show that me and Will came from was was just audio and only a podcast. Uh, whereas uh, we wanted to do something more of a live and communal based thing. So we kind of built this up and I, which means if you look, we, I've been streaming for almost a little bit over a year, uh, probably since this is, we did 50, 50 episodes in the first season and now we're kind of a month into the second season. Uh, so that way we're kind of working up that. That's about as long as I've been streaming. I did a little, little, some stuff before and afterwards, uh, but um, yeah, it's been about a year. How about you, Chris? I started streaming. I believe it was around. Oh, I think it was early June of last year. Um, and it was a, a very, very, very on-off thing at that point. I did more YouTube videos for a while, and when I learned that it is very, very easy to burn yourself out on doing that, and not as easy burning yourself out on live streaming, uh, I decided to go full on Twitch also when I realized uh, YouTube was dying, because let's be honest, it really is, as far as gaming platforms. It is really. I mean, especially since the, the new rules and the algorithm changes over to, to screw over people. That being said, if you want to see any of our one, of, if you want to see any of our uh, backlog, uh, you can go there. So that's that's that is where the, we kind of shuff, push push the videos uh, when I need to download them again and turn them into a super mix. That's uh, that's that's where we put things. It's our thing. We it's our you know it's our archive bit. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We shout outs. We've got some shout outs. I mean, I've got one for Chris Slight. Lover, I'm uh, I'm looking at it right now. Don't worry, I, I can I can see it. I got you. I got you. Uh, <laughs> Chris... Am I am I going to show it on stream? I don't know. Uh, a question: Are traps gay? Uh, depends on your point of view, and all the way, and also gender is a spectrum. The real question is: Does it matter? Yeah, truth. Does yeah. it matter? What does it have to do with gaming? Yeah! <laughs> I mean, Twitch is showing anime. So, yeah. I mean, if Twitch can show anime, we can talk about it. Uh, and we're just going to have you sit for a timeout. You can you can think about yeah. what you did. Yeah, you can be we can philosophical about it while you're timed out. Think about that. Uh, find find <laughs> your zen moment. Find your yeah. zen with the ohm and think about it. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, shout outs. Chris Light, um for his new bit chili dogs co uh, on twitch and also and also the uh his his website he's got a website he started up recently he got an affiliation on twitch midstream which Chris, is pretty Chris cool liked so, it? yeah he's now an affiliate it's awesome nice so, well done there mate good for him and that's my that's my shout out you got any show outs uh that is a good question um, 
to everybody who joined us for the XCOM streams, uh, big shout out. A big shout out once again also for Chris uh, for DMing Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we played that this weekend, and I was uh, very, very happy to finish the the backstory of Roderick, uh, my 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 human paladin, uh, the the God Killer, the and twice Kingslayer. You are quite welcome, my friend. He did that all by his nineteenth birthday. So uh, yeah, it's it making me feel a little bit bad about myself that uh, he did that much and. Uh, me not so much. Uh, that's my shout out. Anybody else? Uh, we we have forgotten one. Chills dogs go. That's that's the link for Chris for Chris Lights for his uh, Twitch channel. If you want to oh. go for there, the one we have forgotten is the patron saint of Tigworthy. Kim. Oh, we- we have we have two. We have the patron saint of Tigwipies, Miss Kim mm-hmm. Berviera, and Mr. Keith Dunn Hernandez, who is the the first subscriber to Tigwipies. Uh, we have we have two of those. Uh, we we are very happy for both of them. Just as we are as happy for all of you who came here to watch us on this Friday evening slash Saturday morning. For any one of you, uh, happy to have you here. Ton of fun. Glad glad we got to interact with you too. That's the important part. And uh as always we we managed to completely skip over any shout outs I may have too. I didn't I was <laughs> wait I was waiting. Yeah, wait I didn't cut you. we didn't cut you off like that time. We didn't start to say goodbye like we normally do. There's there that kind of like wait silence is just like is, is Chris gonna push the push to talk button and talk now or are we just gonna have to kinda of like wait? Yeah, th- this one's a little bit of an oddball. I'm actually I'm I'm streaming side by side parallel so that I can get this goddamn shit over with. Um, now I have a whole other one to go through. Ah! And, uh, well, first and foremost, thank you, James, for uh, extending the sheer amount of pain in my life. Um, thank you uh, to uh, my good buddy Thigh Collector. Uh, I know it says Thigh Collector, but there's a, there's a joke about it, and it's a collection of anime pictures. Uh, that is the joke. Um, but uh, thank you for stopping by, and thank you for jumping in pretty much every stream of mine. Uh, special thank you to Kim, of course, for supporting everything and always being there and being the best. <laughs> and in my chat, he says, yes, I collected the thick thighs. <laughs> By the way, are, are thighs the new boobs now? Uh, you- they've never really not been. It's just kind of a rotation between uh, between boobs, butts, and thighs. and just kind of It's a cyclical thing. It's, it's, we'll eventually they- get back to... Yeah. So, so, so thighs are on the lot on the rise, and booties and boobs are on the are on the low. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I was going to make a joke because of gravity. Um, but I, I have a long list of folks who I think everyone should swing by and check out, including uh, you fine gentlemen at the game on play itself. You can find that on my page on the friends zone if you ever decide to take a look. Um, but as always, I love you all. Sorry, I, I just I just realized what uh, what I just typed in chat and just thought of something is I'll be back in a few uh, with Dread Daddy. Wait, anyway, wait, Dream Daddy, Judge Dread Daddy oh, would be a little Dread weird. Daddy. Judge Dread Daddy. <laughs> it's just his chin the entire the entire time. Just his. You chin. make the laws around here, Dad. I am the law. I am, and of course, it's not like Dread Dream Daddy. It, it's um, it's obviously Sylvester Stallone, Judge Dread. Daddy. I am the law. Is just you know, he just can't understand half the words that are coming out of his mouth. <laughs> Would that be Rob Snyder, his son in the mo- in, in in the game? Ooh, food for thought. Think about that, people. Think about that. Yeah, as as we sear that mental image, in, uh, I think we'll head out. Yeah. I will be back probably uh, if Chris wants to do some Dream Daddy. We'll do that. If not, I'll play some XCOM. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, either way, I think that ends it. Anybody else have any shout outs? One. Uh, two. I shall only do a quick, very, very quick bit of, of plugging for myself. I might be back over the weekend with, with some uh, Doom playing that, some multiplayer, because it's a free weekend. Oh, yeah. And there's a big plan for a big mega multi stream coming up on August 9th. If not, I'll be back Sunday morning for large Sunday service where we continue uh, Halo 5 with 
try and get by a glitch bit. So there, that's me. Do I know about this multi-stream? Am I involved in this multi-stream? If you're available during the day on that August 9th, you can be. Okay, we'll workshop it. Uh, I would also like to plug my own channel, uh, twitch.tv slash hergleman. Uh, and I'll be continuing the Dark Souls series for a long ass time because I'm not good at it. Don't worry, Mr. Smith got you. <laughs> not, he not only handles the 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 uh, hashtag sponsors, not sponsors, but and the fact checking, but he also handles the Twitch channel shoutouts. This is why we love Mr. Smith. And Mr. Smith's a mod, right? I made him a mod. Not yet. We need to do that. That that is that is a thing that needs to happen. Just do it right now. I'm doing you it right now. You need to become mod bro for the Twitch Tig Whippy. The frickin d- 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 and while we, while you, James is doing that, I should also advertise on audio my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash Bam! Which you, you should also come and see, as well as Tig Whippy, and give us a follow. I modded it. Done. Nailed and, it. And also rate us on iTunes, because we haven't had any we had rating. One. Have we? We had a review. Somebody wrote a review. Whoever you are, I love you. Thank you. And and, and only a way of like a host to uh, to review writer can, which is oddly kind of voyeuristic because you just listen to my to my uh, to my thing, to my voice the entire time. Um, but yeah, thank you. I love you. Kind of yeah. Uh, that, that that that's about it. Uh, it was it? He said it was on May fifth. Awesome podcast. Five stars. Five stars. Bye. Not, not zero. So have a fun one, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Uh, we'll probably put some music on. What should we listen to? This is what we're gonna oh, listen yeah. to. Oh yeah. That was a quick transition.